All right, guys. So welcome to another uh, tutorial video, and today we're uh, JSAW, which stands for uh, Joint Standoff Attack Weapon, or Joint Standoff Weapon. And so, what this missile uh, is used for, it's it's technically regarded as an air-to-ground missile, not an air-to-ground bomb, because uh, when the JSAW comes off of the F-16, it deploys these uh, little wings, and I'll show you what, what what that looks like. And essentially, it's a glide weapon. It's important to note that there's uh, three variants of the JSAW. The A model is a area cluster bomb munition, uh, which does have armor penetrating uh, uh, bombs, uh, little bomblets in it. And the B model is specifically made for anti-armor uh, warfare. So what this can do is it gives you standoff range off of the target. Let's say you want to attack an airfield and it's uh, filled with you know SAMs and AAA and you want to launch uh, this glide weapon from a long distance uh, you can do that without exposing yourself to the uh, threat envelope of the enemy. Uh, so when you deploy the weapon it, it's supposed to have a maximum range of 60 miles and a minimum range of about 15 at low altitude. So I imagine uh, you know, from maybe 35,000 feet, that you could you could get that maximum range of 60 miles in glide. So, right now I'm about uh, 32 miles from uh, our first target, which is 10, and I have the uh, A model, the AGM 154A, which is GPS or INS guided. Uh, the B is also GPS guided, and then the C model is actually infrared guided. It has an infrared seeker on the uh, on the head of the weapon and it's able to uh, lock onto a target and then glide towards it. So first thing you want to do, obviously you want to have your master arm on and you're going to power on the weapon just like you do the, the harm uh, and once you power that on it's going to give you a ready indication here. It takes in my experience about five minutes to power the weapon on so you don't it's not something you want to be doing right over the target you want to do it uh, closer to your fence and check. Okay so pause it again here. Once it's powered on, you want to have the FCR on your left MFD because that enables you to snap to predetermined targets and you can see we're in um, Doppler beam sharpening mode 2 here and I'm snapping through the different waypoints. Okay, Because if you don't do that then the uh, you won't be able to download the GPS coordinates on the JSAW itself. So we'll get out of SMS page and you can go to the weapon page and you see it, it looks exactly like the Maverhead Seeker page and the way you know it's tracking is if if you move the uh, snap here and it and it actually moves kinda hard to tell. Alright, so I'll unpause it. And I'll start with 10. Move over to the TGP. Just to get an indication of what's going on here. Alright, so you can see the uh, different targets there. There's a MIG. It's kind of hard to tell. There's a central, central target. Okay, so 25 miles out. Um, we'll do some launches here. So just hold, just uh, go ahead and pickle at 10. Then I'll go 11. Uncage it, and I'll pickle. Then I'll go 12. Uncage it, pickle. 13. Uncage it, and pickle. And I'll go to cat one here. Let's see what the weapons do. So you can see the weapons gliding towards the uh, the range there, and obviously the faster you are, the more standoff distance that you'll have. You can see each JSAW is tracking individually. Now I have heard that 
BMS does not model the JSAW super accurately. You know, obviously the A and B models don't have infrared seekers, uh, but I think it's it's just the way that the uh, developers made it so that it, it could at least be implemented. It wasn't an original weapon in Falcon 4.0. So obviously at this point, you know, you could turn completely away from the target. There's no guidance that's necessary from the aircraft. This thing is completely uh, self-sustained. You could see another JSAW right over there. Alright, so you can see that those each impacted. Looks like they impacted their respective targets. Alright, so that is how you implement the JSAW and BMS. Hope that helps, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.